All right. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome along to a Wednesday night mm -hmm. and uh, welcome back to the Shellbrook multiplayer server. It's been a couple of weeks since we have played along here. Um, so been looking forward to getting back into it. And when uh, Hanson said to me this week, he's like, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know. And he said, well, we've got some forage to do, some harvesting to do. I said, well, I want to build my forage harvester a little bit more and uh, let's get a John Deere. So this is the exact same model, 9700, that uh, I'm currently building, which is our Lego model, which is here somewhere uh, and we will get into that but we're going to go and head on down to the field and get things opened up so we've got a bit of a lineup um, to make things a little bit easier and allow us to keep on harvesting foraging whatever you want to call it we're running the auger master behind and then we've got the three tractors and actually i just turned back my play names but you can see who's in here we've got scott hansen ben and tate and giving us a hand tonight there we go there's ben um so what are we going to go do we are heading over to Field number one, we've got this big one to do. Uh, it's massive, just about the biggest field on the map, I think. Uh, and it's all running down here. We've uh, got some silos, some big bunkers set up over there. I think they hold like six million liters each or something like that. Uh, so that's, a, that's the tonight's task or the next couple of nights tasks. I don't know how far we'll get, but we're gonna head on over this way. We've got another one down there too. It's got two forage harvesters. So um, we're gonna head on over and see how much we get done. Yeah. A little bit optimistic to say it'll get done today because it certainly won't right so we're going to get to run this which is going to be good because it's going to give us the chance to build anyhow hello and welcome everyone uh hello finished farmer nice to see you chinook welcome along mate nice to have you here craig good evening mate welcome hello nismo good to have you here hansen welcome along buddy uh mrs professor lovely to see you as always thank you for joining yoran good day to you my friend welcome along Yes, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. Bruce, nice to see you, mate. Feels like it's been a while. Ben, good morning. How you doing, Daze? Good to see you. Hope you're all good, my friend, as well. Daze is, uh, what, waist deep in potatoes? <laughs> Neck deep in potatoes? Um, he's on he's on the oaks harvesting potatoes, so hopefully we'll get the chance to get in and give him a hand at some stage over the next wee while. But that is uh, what he's up to. It's... Harvest in full swing at the moment on uh, on the oaks. It has been for the last couple of weeks, but getting towards the end of it, but still quite a bit to do. Uh, what else is there? Farmer Ed, good morning. Great to have you here. Welcome along. Scott's here. Scott's in chat. Scott's in stream. But nice to see you there in chat as well. Uh, Grant, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Nismo, what's up? Tate, greetings, fellow humans. I guess you could call us that. Um, look at that, we got a we got a convoy on behind us, haven't we? Look at that. Uh, Tate, yes, hello to you. And Jason, there's the roll call all done, I think. Nice to see you too, mate. Welcome along. Aurelian, sneaking in there. How are you as well? Right. So this is the field here on the left, but we're going to go right down to the bottom and we'll start it, but there's, there's a lot of silage, but we'll go the whole way around. Um, what else is there to say? Hope you're all having a good week. Um, I love the response that uh, the Aussie No Man's Map has had. Uh, a huge thank you to the Aussie Modern, modern Co-op for giving me the chance to take a look at that a little bit early. Um, it's going to be a fun map, I think. It's certainly the response and the comments and feedback that have come through on YouTube about it. People are, uh, people are certainly, shall I say, champing at the bit, frothing at the mouth, rearing to go and get in there and sort of build their own farm. A lot of people have said they've spent a lot of time on No Man's Land, Western Wilds and the like, and actually were starting to run out of space. So it's got to the point where actually having a uh, having a bigger start from scratch type map is something that we were looking for. So quite excited to get into it. As am I. I've got a few plans. We might do something. Not a. I'm not going to do a pure start from scratch. Zero money, I think. The map's a bit too big for that, but it will certainly be a build our own farm type challenge. Um, and I'm not going to make it easy. I'm not just going to say, let's get the biggest of everything and jump in. Um, in fact, if anyone's seen the 200 horsepower challenge that a lot of content creators have been doing, um, Crusto, Crusto Gaming, I think, said creator, Crusco. Can't remember exactly. Sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, but yeah, we've got people like Rusty Money Gaming and um, this is some gamer, Gaming Joy I think is in there. There's a whole lot of creators. I think 27 was the last count doing that. So I am going to 
um, appropriate that challenge and adapt it a little bit, make a few changes to sort of do something similar, but on a bigger scale. Anyhow, right. This is the field, so let's get everything opened up. Look like we can turn too tight with this. Uh, we need to get the pipe. That's the back pipe opening. Now if we go back to the fire harvester. Right, there we go. Um, now, I was actually going to go around that way, but the auger is actually on that side, so I need to go, go around this way. It's a little bit foreign. And we are, Hanson wasn't sure if he'd set this up with any bigger speed, but it looks like 7 miles per hour with a 6 meter wide header is what we're limited to, so good Lego building conditions, that's for sure. You're watching the OG Ghostbusters, the 1984 version. Nice. Scott's going to have to limit himself to match my speed if he's going to do that. There we go. We're filling, unloading all at once. This system should actually work quite well, particularly with uh, the three tractors. It'll be interesting to see how far and how fast we can get through that, or how busy we keep them. Having uh, the two choppers might be a bit too much, but because we've only got narrow heaters on them, I mean, you can get a 9 meter heater. Might have been a bit different, but and we're not too far to the yard we were dumping. It's just down there. When we're up at the other end of the field, might be a little bit different, but on this end, it's not too bad. Refuse to do no man's on 22 after 900 hours on 19. I'd love to do an Aussie version, though. Now, a lot of people have said that, yeah. It captures, like, just the fact it's got a town in the middle and the roads and the trains and everything like that. Um, it does a good job of sort of having a having a bit of a soul, a bit of a vibe on that to it, while not being a stupidly um, stupidly large map. So I guess that's a good way to look at it. All right. Can't actually turn very tight because it'll lose the full turning radius that this thing has. Because of the, uh, the way the orcas are. Don't know where Hanson was going. Got lost. Not like he was going off on a tangent. But see he's only... He's only 50% full. Ah uh, he was giving me space to turn. Fair enough. No it's very nice to have, um, have such a positive response to the map though. It's very cool. Oh, that was, that was close. Very close. Love it as you can finally make some Aussie sauce fields under this hundred acre rubbish. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could get what? There's a fair few uh, hectares or acres in a eight kilometer square map, isn't there? I like the way that's done with the sort of 500 square meter plots. It's kind of cool. What's, what's even that? Each one of the plots is well, 100 by 100 is a hectare so it's 5 one way and 5 one way so it's a 25 hectare plot which is what about so is it 2.2 to the 2.2 to the acre or acres to the hectare so 50 to 60 acre plots and there's 256 of them keep you going forever Uh, so the fill level is actually counting how full my um, trailer is as well. So Tate's actually got 42,000 litres on and it's 80%. But it's amalgamate that tip mod is amalgamating the two trailers. Which makes sense. So Tate's full, which leaves Ben there behind us. Forty hectares is a hundred acres. That'd be bright, right? Eh? Two point two, a little bit more. Close. Close bit of maths. 
Hey, Mr. Chinook. Welcome in, mate. Thank you very much for the gifted memberships, as always. Grant picking one up. Nismo, Farmer Ed, Paul, and Marcus. There we go. Very much appreciated, my friend. Hope I uh, know I was messaging you all. It was good to hear your job is going well already. Very exciting for you. Now, what I'm thinking, it's going to be a bit hard to communicate to Scott. I reckon we might. We chop this and we should just focus on doing this end down here, maybe first. I don't know if we want to get too far away just yet. And there's going to be a fair bit of chaff going in and out of deep into this little section, which is such a small part of the map. Alright, Scott's saying you can hear me, so. Um, is, how full's Ben? Oh, he's full. Well, that's perfect timing then. He's full, so. Chop down here. Like a row, follow it. Let Scott get beside us so he's at least shooting into the uh, into the trailer. Hopefully, see how full we get. Pipe's oh, not changing direction. There it goes. Oh, Ben wasn't quite full. Ah. Scott, slightly you go behind me and fill Ben up because his combine's not uh, his trailer's not full yet. We gotta see if we can get Scott filling into filling into Ben's trailer instead of into mine. And we will, while we're going on this direction, try. Get ourselves some GPS set up and we'll save that and that will be good for both our uh, both our forages. I must say I don't think I've ever done this with um such a small header. We've done silage with a header this size. Right, uh let's go into here. I like this and say F1 of large. Saved. Don't know if that actually saved or not. Yeah, I didn't either. Try that again. We'll get there. That saved. Here we go. Now we've got it. Oh, and we're full. All right, we might have to swap sides or unload into Hanson here. Once we get things opened up, it'll be just fine. Oh, I didn't set the width correctly. Ah, that's not going to work either. Just move over to <laughs> like the dance of the forage harvesters. Alright, we need to get Hanson up beside. Can he fit? Here we go. Look at that. Not quite sure if it's poetry or not, but it's working. Uh, just spent three hours building factory stuff and satisfactory risks of complaining. I can imagine. It's a good effort. Uh, thank you, Chinook. Thank you, Chinook. Yeah, thank you, Chinook. Much appreciated, mate. 
much appreciated. Just finished your induction. Have your familiars from tomorrow on the international team on your side tomorrow, then Friday driving your side. Nice. Be fun. G'day Nardis. How you doing? Nice to see you. Risky that crushing. It's funny that talking about Ghostbusters. Whoever was watching Ghostbusters. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna resave it. Yeah, the turn radius is not very friendly on this, that's for sure. Right, let's uh, do one more lap around the outside, and then I reckon we'll be good to start some up and down rows. Here we go. But that's um that's what four trailer loads out of here already. Oh, and Ben's Ben's still gotta go too. He hasn't made it back. He was stuck in behind us. Let's take catch up. of routes in and out open it'll be easier much easier so other bit of exciting news is uh i don't need to press that button there to turn those lines off um it appears that my anywhere object storage is going to be released fingers crossed in the next mod release uh on mod hub for all platforms um it is sitting there today it is sitting there saying pending release and that's just been updated in the last few hours so very excited that that might actually finally see the light of day and be there for you to use and download so i've done a little instructional video on how to use it how it works which will come out tomorrow morning i'll set that live for about the time mods come out so anyone looking for some direction on how it could be used can find that there um, but yeah i'm really excited see that it's taken some time and uh it's just a i think exciting but it means you can turn any shed that you want um into a storage shed so yeah that's a good point dazed i should i've actually um Tate, I've put down a, I was on the Oaks before and had a look and I had to play around so I've actually put a bale storage down on there using the ones that are in already. But yes, it could have worked, could have worked in bunkers, but I've sorted that out. Thank you, Mrs. Professor. Yeah, you need X amount of downloads for that. I know, right? Yeah, people will find it. They need help. Right, what are we up to? 83, 84, 85. Gosh, it fills up quick. Stuck waiting again. That's right. I think working in this end of the field, three is going to be the magic number, but any further might be, uh, might be too many. So, while we're getting that set up, Waiting, let's just go and move a few bits and pieces around. Yeah. Um, right, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go, Lego. So, this is where we're up to, um, which is this part here, number seven. So, I'm going to carry on. And uh, I'll get that all set up, so once we get into it, we can actually start, but I might as well just, while we're waiting, fish out a few pieces. Um, so this is exactly the same model that we're already building. At least Ben. Alright. Just got to catch up. Ben will fill up really quick, because we've probably got enough in the, uh, in the auger wagon to, to fill them up anyhow. Let's see if I can drive without actually steering. Oh. Can't pick that up. There we go. There 
we go. Ben's full in seconds. I think it's probably the fastest silage fill you're ever going to see. Uh, so this is this will be the steering axle. These will be the front axle, uh, rear axles, of course, being a rear steer. Um, a piece of equipment. So that one is that side. Just need to do the same here on the other side. Of course, mirrored. Here we go. Bing and bong. Right. And where's that? He's there. All right. Sorry, I'm just sorting things out with family. Alright, this will be our last headland pass, I reckon. And we'll be good. Oh, bit of a jump. Um, G'day, Mark, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, <laughs> this is pretty quick. Oh, lagging a bit. What's happening in here? I feel like I'm lagging. Oh. Then I'll put down. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Is this thing. Am I lagging? I figure Can out what's going on. No. Right. Crash cam. Times ten. Ah. Am I stuck on a tree? Oh, this is just peachy, isn't it? What a start. There we go. Right, extracted ourselves. <sighs> Here we go. What's... Ah, oh, I see what's happened. I've inadvertently bumped the, so on the bottom of here I can flick between profiles, see the light changes, and sometimes I inadvertently bump it which actually changes the whole control scheme on the uh, controller, which makes sense now. Yeah, effectively the wrong key bindings, yes, right, uh, let's carry on. Lots of pieces to get now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the one thing I have done. I do it, I don't do it that often, but I do it enough that it's annoying, <laughs> as you can imagine. Particularly when you don't notice or haven't realised you've done it or anything like that, it can be a little bit frustrating. Um, I noticed on the weekend actually Chinook the servers were terrible. Um, I was trying to even just go on the website and try and find some things and they were sluggish to say the least but I haven't noticed them too bad lately, the last day or two. I jumped on, I was actually on earlier, downloading a few bits and pieces and yeah it didn't seem too bad. 
It was manageable. That was through game though, not on the... Um, not online on the mod hub, but... I often download, I often use the web search and download and then copy them across. I find that's easier. I don't know, it's just been a way I've done it. Uh, good farmer, hello. I want to know which is the best European map for Farming Simulator 22. That is a almost impossible question to answer because what you think is good is probably going to be different to what I might think is good so um, and when you say Europe do you mean um, mainland Europe, France, Germany do you want to play a small map, a big map do you want to have animals or do you want to focus on cropping um, you know if you wanted to do a lot of wine or be on a bit hillier land there's some really good Italian maps by Edo Mod um, if you want to be in in the UK, there's some Oxygen David's maps, fantastic. Um, some Briscoe's maps are fantastic. Bally Springs, fantastic. And so much of it is personal preference too, so. There's one of those. 13 hours to download that's pretty crazy I've I have found before I've had ones that will take say they're going to take forever to download and then you cancel them and do it again and it actually goes faster the second time but not sure what that's all about all right let's see what we can do here I open this up and Ben can load up Scott. Scott can load Ben up. Then we'll get this opened a little bit nicer. A good French map. Good French map with lots of medium and mid to small uh, fields. Um. <laughs> French Plains is one. Got a few hills in it. Um, that's, I, I haven't played many French maps, so I really can't give you any good advice on that one. Right. Here we go, carry on. Ooh, what are we making here? This looks interesting. Two of those ones, one of the small brown gears, and yellow seven. One of those. Right, let's see how that goes. How <laughs> to battle on from the base game is a good map. It is a good map, yeah. Some of their base maps are really good. I, I, yeah, I think Giants did a pretty decent job this year, this time around. If uh, 19 with the base maps. Certainly learning. So that's, this is the only thing with doing it on a USB is I can't actually compare the scale because that image there is actually to scale but I should be able to, I turn that everything turns. I'm going to get to the end, 97, 98, 99, not quite. You have to back up so I can There we go. 
We got it. Let's try and back up. Yep, that'll do. Fertilize the fields too much. Lots of small and mid sized fields on Hotel Laurent. There is. It certainly is. Kind of weird, I keep forgetting I can just keep on going. Right, so that's that done. It's everything turning properly. Uh, so, oh, it goes up that way. So that end goes in first. Does that must all slide in? Oh, yeah, that. Okay, there we go. So it just sits in there like that. It's not actually uh, held in, it's just sitting in there at the moment, but it's our steering. Oh, I'm full too. Right. The dream is the dream is to get this finished, but I don't know if I'm going to tonight. The uh, forager, not the field. I <laughs> know we're not going to get the field done. That really would be an optimistic pipe dream. All right, there we go. Oh, so that holds that all in place. Perfect. There we go, we can test that and you can see everything's moving. Beautiful. Love it when something works. Stickers, and I'm not going to worry about the stickers for now. We'll pick those up later, which is what I did last time, and that worked out actually really well. Dealing with those at a later date. But let's push that into there. That one is there. That slides on, and then what have we got next? Two of those and two of those. One, two, three, four. Uh, oops, mix them up. That one's the correct one. That one's not. Let's squeeze that in. What I like about these instructions is if you look across the bottom, there's a little gear down the bottom there by the page number and that's telling you how far through with progress you are. I thought it was pretty cool. Peace down. Right, now, technically, I think I need to go down this row and Scott needs to jump on the other side. I think here. Oops. Oh, hit it down. Because if someone comes along beside us, they won't be able to unload. Now you go on the other side of me, because if someone comes beside us, we won't be able to unload. Oh, if I took that, yeah. Alright. Alright, I hear ya. The dance of the forage harvesters. I should have opened up a bigger headland by the looks of things. You might have to drive. Oh, is it going to reach? Oh, it is. No, I didn't turn the GPS on either. It's impressive. An impressive throw. Right. 
more stickers, we'll ignore those. And how have I got rid of that? Uh, one goes through there. And I dropped the piece before, where did that go? Yeah. All the way over there. shape. Beautiful. Set that up on top. Very clever how all these sort of bits and pieces go together. It's one of the things I love most about building Lego is Things just slowly sort of start to appear in front of you. They take shape. Might not make sense to start with, but eventually you sort of see that this is the uh, this will be the back bumper. So a bit down in there. That's what we just done. We obviously haven't got the uh, red and white on the side. But very close. Scots. Oh. Right, we're down down a truck down a carter at the moment, so we'll just uh, say again what mod you will get released didn't catch it, so it's called Anywhere Object Storage Bent, and it is a basically a mod that will convert any um, any shit into an object storage mod. So, very handy. Oh, what? GPS stuck. GPS bug. Right, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to fill Ben up. Can adjust the auger across. Um, so anywhere object storage it basically is a placeable that you can put down in a um, in a shed and convert it into an object storage building. So you can put bales or pallets and things like that in it. That is effectively what it is. Just a little, I call it a quality of life mod. Um, so you can play a map. And so you can play a map that might have, um, oh goodness, why is that not lowering? I changed my buttons again. No. It's beyond the header, do I? Here we go. Ah, goodness. Um, sorry, I keep on getting distracted. It's, so you can convert any shed into an object storage, basically. So if you have a map that has lots of sheds on it, um, I got the inspiration from playing on the oaks because I wanted to make one of the barns an object storage, but you couldn't put anything down in it. So that is what it's going to do. Want to know why help is in FS20 is so bad, but actually very good in the mobile games. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to know that too. I love how the traffic's really good in mobile as well and actually um, will adjust will overtake it will overtake and on the mobile it's amazing hopefully it comes through in 25 or whatever the next game is whenever the next game is that would be awesome well, i do find it kind of funny that the uh the text there and in, in the um mobile version but not on a pc right so that's that part done. That just goes and slots on there. Here we go. 
Back end done. Well, getting done. Not done yet. Still lots more to go. If he's just sent me a photo, he's got a new setup with a new monitor for live streaming. It looks fantastic. I want to steal it. I want to steal it. Is that Forage Harvester and Orca Wagon Crossplay? What a good way to be able to do forage work on console. It is indeed. So the Lizard Orga Master is by Mantrid, I think, if I remember correctly. It's super helpful. I used it for um, when I was doing sugarcane. And it works really well for sugarcane too. Hey, Farmer Sum, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Tricks are, tricks are good. Tricks are good. Getting by. How about yourself, mate? You good? Keeping well, I hope. I'm going to get very close to all the way through. 96, 97, 98, 99. Literally three rows short. Which one do I want to go? I'll go down. Can't go down the one I wanted to go down. I'll go do the single row Henson. Sorry. Oh, you, I don't even need to drive next. I don't even need to be next to you. I just need to unload, don't I? Just stay where you are. I'll <laughs> chase the trailer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go. Um, giants have to have something to promote for 25. Yes, the traffic will now overtake on the roads. From our mobile service. Uh, typical FSG, I know, right? Use the trailer for traf chaff and hay and 19 makes it real easy. It does, it's fantastic. It is. Uh, another Lego farm some multitasking vid. It's bathing yourself in coffee. I find I drink it wakes me up better than bathing in it, but whatever whatever works for you. Alright. I know what you mean though. I know what you're saying. But yes, we're uh, we're actually making exactly the same forage harvester that we're actually driving in at the moment. The end result will be the same. It's quite cool when we when we found that there's a 9700. Well, that sounds like a bit of us jump in and, and use the same one. Crops grow while not playing. What's that in, Thomas? Round and round in the cornfield. It's kind of what it feels like at the moment, Chinook. Ring a ring a rosy. Who can tell me what that song was about? Or originated from? I'm sure you're all well educated and, and know the answer to that. There we go. See lots of educated people around. Kind of funny, isn't it? We sing it as a kid's nursery rhyme. Interesting things like that in history, isn't it? Oh, we were raw as a... Oh, so, um... We, got, we were chatting up at... So one of my employees' daughter's boyfriend, this is very long winded, is turning 21 soon. She's like, oh, she won't, her, his daughter, her daughter won't feel like a cradle snatcher anymore because there's about a four age year difference or something between them. And I laughed and I said, it's all right, half your age plus seven is the rule. 
and see, she just sort of looked at me funny. She's like, "Hey, what do you mean?" Like, well, that's the that's the age of a, a man, the age difference between a man and a woman. So, if you're forty, the youngest your partner should be is twenty-seven. Or forty divided by two plus seven, twenty-seven. And she's like, I've never ever heard that before. Anyhow, so I was like, oh, I don't know where it came from. We googled it, and actually has has roots back in like the 1850s, and it was written in quite a few different people had different uh, takes on it. But it is historically, it's been used about defining the perfect age. Very archaic in that I know, but it was just interesting that something we'd sort of you know, joked about for quite some time actually had a uh, had a historic um, element to it. There we go, Henson saying he they were talking about it on his radio that he listens to. Bizarre. It's just one of those sort of funny little kind of history things where you go, ah, okay. Um, I'm completely lost with what I'm meant to be doing now. I did have that around the right way. Another one of those that goes through the middle. And equals out. Uh, so where are we? Are we there? That looks right, doesn't it? Same as number five. I think so. And no surprises, they go together. Opposing carrots. All right, but keep an eye on my full level because I don't think I have anyone running up behind me right yet. Learn something new every day. There you go. Yep, it's real. I mean, we've always, we've always joked about it too. All right, let's just pause there. Or else we're going to run full without anyone around. Timed that pretty well. I'm only 270 odd liters away from being full anyhow. There we go. You wouldn't take long. Eighteen year old eighteen year old is a well nine year plus nine plus seven sixteen. Yes, technically. But it also set a minimum age of like fourteen or something silly like that. So at 14 you had to be 14 because half 14 is 7 and add 7 on again it's 14 so that kind of set that limit I suppose for want of a better description. Come for the farm sim and the lego and leave with the education history history lesson. First, two carried away eggs. Getting into the swing though, this one's flying along. It's so one thing I do find with compared this set to the last one we built is I do find that this one's a much easier build to follow, particularly when you are trying to concentrate on two things at once. What's happening behind us? Forages, forages parked up down there, so this is all all eggsy now. This is my show. Scott's in the tractor. Handsome was going to go and do some compacting. Don't stuff it up, Arxy. Don't stuff it up. Here we go. Perfect. All right, slide that one in, and is that a? It must be a long one. Goes on the other side because that needs to go in there and clip in there, and done. 
Like, again, I'm intrigued to see how this is all, like, it, it can all fold and move around and lock down. I'm intrigued to see what that's going to do. Hey, sheep, how you doing? Learn more than you did at high school. How was the field days, mate? Do you know I, um, I was looking around, I didn't actually even spot, like, I thought about finding the car field stand and then, uh, kind of got distracted with something else. And I think we must have walked past it without even realising, kind of got to that time of the day where, uh, it had enough. I'm oh, sorry I didn't catch up with you, mate. Hope it was a uh, hope it was a good day. I hope it was a good good week. Saturday was fun. We were there for a few hours. Saw a few things. Ate some good food. It's good. All right. Next up. Looks interesting. Right, is that that's that piece there? I sold almost the same. I utilize semi config with long drawbar. Bogeyman Dolly gives a bit of turning. So ah, that would work well, wouldn't it? That's a good idea. That's the only thing that's sort of yeah. Only only hamstring I've got at the moment is the uh, turning circle on it. Not the best. The other thing LEGO does really well is give you points to locate the next piece so you know exactly where it's coming from or where it needs to go. Makes things easier again. Um, Get a queue now. Trails everywhere. Found it pigs really could fly today. How did you find that out, Thomas? Oh, the balloons over white had a balloon as a pig. <laughs> gotcha. Funny. More of these. So this is the back edge of the uh, orange harvester. Not exactly what we're building at the moment. Back side. In there. Nets clipping in there with the black one in it. Um, you went there on the Saturday, and then you had to go stay home and drench your lambs. Ha! Uh -huh. Is that a blessing or a? Uh, or a hindrance, would you have rather been at the field days or staying home doing your lambs? Yeah, which way? I'm just trying to determine which way around that goes. It's that way and that's that way. It almost feels like it should be the other one. That wouldn't be right. Because that would go, it doesn't clip on like that. Um, hang on, that way, that way, it is that one, okay. That makes sense, uh, next page. Hanson's just going to go get another Augur Master so we can run two of the same setups. Should be good. Now I'll sort of double down on things. Uh, so that must go through there and there. Looks like it. It's good. Already drumming up business at the field day since the lambs are worth nothing. <laughs> yeah, 
head, um, things aren't looking too rosy around that side of things. Shame. Right, turn that round. Turn that round. Aha, uh -huh, so that sits in there. Slots into that. Ah, that might be why this lifts up. I wonder if... Oh no, that might just tip down like that, just to smooth it off. I see. I see where we're heading. I'll pull the wool over my eyes, there you go. Right, Tate, how full is Tate? Tate is 90 something. Can I actually read that read up in the top corner? Over. And we got the service truck down here to have a service if we need to. All configured, ready to go. But I go crack on with the morning now, but I just want to drop in by and say, have a good one. You too, my friend. Thanks for popping in. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, hopefully our paths can cross at some stage and I can catch one of your streams as well. Jumping the gun in anticipation of what comes next. Down to your last 300, so it's already damaged already done. My old man sold the rest of his last of his balls yesterday. These down, it's actually, and you might not be able to make it up on the camera, it's actually quite a colour difference in those pieces. It's actually quite disappointing. Lego's normally really good with its colour matching, but these moulded pieces, these sort of curved, weird mouldy bits on the end are actually quite a different colour. It's a shame. Usually, not that, uh, not that different. You are off, Thomas. All good, my friend. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks for hanging out this evening with us. Much appreciated. Hanson's just making the point we've been going an hour and we've done that. <laughs> That's an hour. Two hours, three hours, four hours, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's probably about 10 hours in here with this. I mean, we don't have to chaff at all, of course. You could, could, could run the combine through some of it. Right. So there we go, let's flip that over. Why is that wobbly? Is that meant to wobble? Let's see. I haven't put anything in there for it not to wobble. Uh, maybe when it sits on here, those two go through there. And those two pop 
the back. Like that. There we go, it's a bit more a bit more rigid now already. And then our steering must that aligns through there with the steering rod down in there, so that'll get something on it and that'll work for our steering. Perfect. You were joined, but studies melted your brain. Fair enough, Chinook. No dramas, mate. I mean, you didn't have much to melt to start with, so I'm not surprised. Righty ho. Very true. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm joking. What? We should be able to. I think we're not doing too bad. It's just the compacting at the other end, really, isn't it? like what is this this is the pipe so we go oh now here's a here's a hint for any kiwis who have flywise points i was looking online i, I had a notification say i had flywise points expiring so i was like oh i wonder what could i can spend it on and um lego is one of the options this set is worth I think 80 New Zealand dollars or something like that and you can buy it for 270 flywise points which is about if you look at any of the other Lego sets of the same value they're about six or seven hundred flywise points so you can actually get this very cheap through flywise at the moment if you are interested in finding it Lord of Schemes don't normally look at them but they emailed me and told me I had points expiring so I might buy a couple more just to use up the points I've got Yeah. Right. GPS turn off. made a bit of a meal of that but we're back where we meant to be that's the key thing there we go farmer red thanks for hanging out mate appreciate having you here have a good day at work and we'll catch you again soon hope your students pass their tests today i'm sure it will be with flying colors there we go the steering that down through there and that's our steering right that's the back half pretty much well it's really starting to take shape this is some pieces we can going to be able to clip on the side there for panels uh back wheels awesome i was thinking too this is going to be my third lego or kind of lego forage harvester too 
getting a good collection. Right, bag number two, which I've already opened, was handy. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. I have a spare long one of these. I might have to review. Go back and see where they were used in instructions and make sure I put them in. So three... There's one on there, seven in there, that's one. No, oh, only the one, okay. It's either extra or it's come in that bag and it'll get used in the next bag. We will find out. Oh, I think I've got pretty much all these pieces in my little tray here. That might be even easier. G'day Victor, you doing good mate? Nice to see you. Looking good. Yeah, it's working out alright. Working out okay. Take some of these bigger pieces out of the top. these are the side panels because this snap bit there will be a wheel arch I am thinking and we're 35% full so look one of these shorter rows to open things up again a little bit should be right Well, if that's the case, Victor, I would suggest she is not the girl for you and you will be better off. Much as you won't think that at the moment, in the long run, it will all work out. Uh, am I... I'm too far back. Or just a touch. Here we go. Even that's... Yeah, that's right. That matches the red there is just in line with the back of that green bit. The front. Although I might actually meant me to be halfway across that. Here we go. Ah, so I can meant to be able to see a bit of black at the front and back. There we go. That's them both. Right. Move on. A bit the same on the other side. Another one of those. Thank you very much. Now for my 71. Judged it perfectly. Like I've been doing this for an hour and a bit already. This plan, Scott, get as much done tonight as I could. While we're driving the same thing. Anyone has access to the Oaks already, I'm looking for one more person to drive a trailer for potato harvest if anyone is interested. Pay rate's terrible and the working conditions are atrocious. He uses these yellow tractors, JC something, I don't know what they are. No fun, not worth it. That's because I've stolen his number one worker, he's working here for me tonight, isn't it dazed? Right, that's both of those done. Oh, it's even actually showed it was symmetrical with, that makes sense, symmetrical with the um, axle too. Ah, and those... Those squeeze in a little bit. Actually, 
<laughs> starting till the stream is over so nothing's been stolen well there you go um if you want to go and help harvest some spuds then jump in dazed his uh you can share uh, you can share your discord link in here if you want to invite some people over if you want more farmers entirely up to you mate Coming along at the moment. Favorite tractor is the John Deere 6R. That's a nice piece of equipment. Victor, we um, I saw a few of those on the weekend at the field days I was at. Very nice biscuit. One thing I did, one tractor I actually missed, and I because we were sort of leaving, and I caught a, caught a glimpse of it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, ah. Oh. I really want to go and look at that, but I know that the uh, the powers that be, being the wife and two children, would not have looked too fondly on me walking down to specifically look at this tractor, but they had a Fent 900 um, MT, the tract version. I was like, oh, I really want to go see that. There's the piece. That's the piece I thought I didn't, I hadn't used. And I was like, where's that piece come from? There it is. Um, yeah, they had a Fent 900 MT. And I was like, well, that would have been cool. But I did then think, give me a few months time and I'll be at the Fent factory and fingers crossed there might be some chances to see something even better than that there. So I let it slide. I let it go. It was pretty cool though. We did see they did have there a, um, a, I'm, I'm cheating at the moment. Um, just kind of doing what I want to do and then finishing off. The they had a Steiger, a 550 Steiger, brand new. Hadn't even been out on the farm yet. That was an incredible piece of equipment. Standing up on that, having a look at it, wow. That um size of it was awesome. Right, now we're getting into a bit of a rhythm because Scott's gone back down that way. But yeah, a very, very cool. Very, very cool tractor. Last year it was all about the Seeing the 8RX, this year it was definitely the Steiger. A little love for both colours. Yes, that's the one from the photo you're on, that's right. Yep, hung out with Floyd up on that, Bovine's boy. Caught up with Bovine at the field days, which was nice. Always fun to see him. Yeah. Boyd wasn't, I don't think he was too keen to hop up and have a look and I said come on mate, jump up there, we'll go and stand up there and Dad can take a photo. That was pretty cool. Uh, right, that's that. Okay, so this all goes together now. That way around, that way upside down, through there. And then if, as you'd expect, it goes on the other side. It goes on that side, and then I think we should jump the gun, but I'm going to get one of these ready to go in there. Yep. Funny when you're building Lego and it's, you know it's symmetrical, so you know pretty much know exactly what's coming next. <laughs> Basically, give me half a set of instructions, and I'll probably do a pretty good job at trying to build whatever it was that was required. Here we go. I wonder if that's the. It might be the front. Might be the front wheels. Oops. Too afraid of myself. When is the new update coming out about the Farming Simulator 22? I have no idea. I know exactly what you know, Victor, and that is. 
that we know nothing. Pretty much. That's the extent of what giants have shared with any of us. I do know it's only six days now until Farm Some Kids for anyone who's interested in that, which I know will be very few people, but it isn't too far away. Uh, right, which one's that going in? It's clipping. Oh, that clips right the way back. Once again. Ooh, that goes into there. It goes into there. Right, done. Oh, I'm full. How long have I been full for? <laughs> hey, Aussie William. How you doing, mate? Too busy concentrating on what I was doing next. Oh, taking out Ben. All right, there we go. What's happening, William? You're good, mate. All right, next up. That onto there. Slides on one end, slides on to the other. Clips in there. It's up the other way. Oops. Run things around. What is that? That's, that sits over ah, that sits over the top of the earring. Clips there and there. Did that go all the way in? Yeah, there we go. So little pieces at the moment. Oh, that one goes in the other way. That was close. Pop that sucker out. Interesting. Whatever am I making right here? <laughs> uh goodness John had to get a note from mum and dad eh no dramas mate I hope you're good of course family comes first 100% I hope they're all well I hope they're all well I was hoping to get those last couple of here we go run them over back them up and now I'm not going to be able to turn that way either that should work So it's an upright, so it must be, ah, oh, no, it's on the outside. Let's through that piece, through that piece and clip them both together. We've got that on the inside, yep. And then, what do we have to do on the other one? Just the single red. Mirrors that to sit on the other side. Happy days. Yeah, no, they're all good. 
my oldest has been offered a uh, study seminar in the last two nights, learning how to learning how his brain works and what the best way to study is, or well, not the best way, but some techniques for studying. So it's been a bit of a eye opener for him. And Mrs. Uggs is off for work tomorrow, heading north for a couple of days. So she's back on Friday. So dad and the boys for the next night tomorrow night. Right now. There you go, this is our spear pieces so far. That looks a better collection of spear pieces. That's kind of what I'd expect to have. Now, excuse me while I make some noise and we open up bag number three. This one, lots of yellow. This looks like the header. This would be kind of fun. Always careful that you get all the pieces out. If you've got a crease in the bag, you can sometimes get them caught up in there. It's hard to find them once you've thrown them out. You good, Bo? How's things, mate? You had a good week so far? Getting into any trouble? Floyd over the excitement of the field days, is he? Grumpy Grey Farmer, welcome along. New here, how is everyone? Well, I'm good. I can't speak for everyone else, but I'm definitely good. And uh, as I'm the only one who can speak, I think everyone else is good, even though I can't speak for them. Hope that makes sense. Welcome along, man. Nice to have you here. Always nice to meet someone new in the community. Uh, you're, you're fine, Chonok. You've done your detention and uh, HF5 gifted subs memberships to avoid avoid detention, shall we say. You're not going to get in any trouble. Not a good start. I can't find that first grade, but I'm sure it'll be here. There it is. Found it. Just had to look properly. This is gonna be interesting. So we are building the header. So basically, this can go this sit over here. And we can focus on all the bright yellow bits. Up and down week so far. Ah, sorry to hear that, mate. I hope there's been more ups than downs. Throw that up in there. Oh. He's going to pay you 200. What is he, you, why is he going to pay you $200,000? The canola. Have you, have you sold him some canola? Yeah. It's good to know the rates he's charging you then. I might be able to talk mine onto a better rate then. Hey simulator YouTuber. How you doing? I'm sure he'll take it as a positive. Alright, let's have a look. We got that. What's this piece? Interesting. A wheel? Jump, jump change. <laughs> jump change, Bo. Yeah. I think you definitely, you definitely lucked into a money maker there. Probably debt free. He's probably debt free though. Hundred thousand dollars with no debt. So th this interests me. Like you look at the look at the um, instruction, and the instruction is to make the wheel. So put one of these on, make the wheel, and then push the other one from the other end. Why don't you just push one on, push another one on, 
put this little rubber wheel on. And then push the other one on all from the same side. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Alright, so that goes through. Needs to be up like that. Needs to be like that. How full am I? Not too full. Push that through. And that all's turned. And I imagine that this, when it's the header, this will sit on the ground. The rubber tyre will sit on the ground. And that'll turn this, which will then in turn turn all of the uh, chopping units on the on the header. Should be very cool. Prices are fixed and the same for everyone. Come on, mate. Us Kiwis have to stick together. You see the smile on your son's face? I'm sure that's worth something a little bit extra to me. I don't ask for much, Bo. You're running about 360 and dead at the moment. Ah, you're not that far then. That's that's what. A few days of uh, selling some canola. Couple of truckloads. You have to take a loan to pay Hanson, but you already have the money sitting in oil to pay it. Right, so you got the you got the the cash in there. That's just, I guess it's not <laughs> liquid at the moment. It's oil. Uh, right. Oh, needs to turn around. All right, look at that. We've just about finished this section. Hoorah! We got two wheels, so they should run along there and turn that. Nice. There's something nice about doing the Lego streams because I often have my my YouTube data hidden. I would have absolutely no idea how many fine folk there are sitting in here. There could be a hundred people watching me now, there could be two people watching me. And it's kind of a it's a blessing actually, not having to not sitting there going, oh goodness, I'm wasting my time or What do I need to do? People not enjoying the Lego or anything like that. Just just do it. Nice. Have fun farm and if there's some people here to chat to while we're doing it. Then that's a bonus. You know what's going to happen when the stream's finished. I can guarantee that this uh, this fire harvest is going straight to the workshop and getting a uh, to tune up. Give it a little bit of a uh, turbo tweak, chip tune. That's on the wrong side. Is that, is that a three? It is a three, not that you can actually read it. Yeah, a bit of a unexpected situation. Right. The 
let's concentrate here for just for a sec. Alright, that's us empty. Scott's doing the UE. I think there's only one row there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Right. Um, what are we going to do here for this field now? Oh, we need to go up and sort of cut it. That's what we need to do. Go up and cut it across in the next section. That's my lines on this side. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. We'll use that GPS line. Squeeze the field up. Build some more Lego. This Lego seems a lot less complicated than the other one. Does it do anything special? Um, it doesn't do anything particularly special, Mrs. Professor. It's certainly from a value is definitely a lot lower. It's a much cheaper set. Um, but I think part of it as well is the, the Lego instructions are generally a lot, and sort of what I've found so far, a lot more concise and cleaner and clearer and easier to understand. So that makes a big difference too. So it's just definitely, definitely some, I think that's why we have Lego definitely excels is it's a lot clearer and concise what it is you meant to be doing. A science joke. Thank you, Bo. It's beyond me. The science knowledge exceeds mine. concentrating on driving pull out a few more pieces keep an eye on our fill level make sure we don't go over 100 percent make sure i'm actually chopping some corn while we're doing it see how the multitasking works here controller in one hand what i might do is as we get to this spot sit here and wait for a trailer Here, just so we're fuller. Still going to go back and cut straight across that field, I think. It'll make the passes and runs and lengths and everything much more manageable. See how close we get to take to full first. This is our field on the right. Actually, no, if it is or not. Uh, yes, it is. Field four. Ah, that's the cotton field. Right. We're not run over it then. Lego's looking great. Yeah, it's it's um it's taking shape, Bruce. Taking shape. It's a uh, turning bay. It easier makes it easier for me. It was it was put there specifically. There's another long one coming up too. It was put there specifically to help me turn around. There we go. Tate's full. See, perfect perfect spot. Whoever did this was a genius. that M 
paid for it. Right, Bean's wondering what's going on. Where is this guy going? Come on a journey with me, Bean. I might need your help. I reckon by doing this we're going to make the field much more manageable because then we'll next lot will just be this section, break it into chunks. Let's see if we can autopilot this one straight across. Carry on. This looks like it's going to be the width of the header. I don't think this header is folds, which is a bit of a shame. It's in a fixed position. A look. I'm not trying to justify your earlier technical inexactitude. <laughs> I don't have to justify anything to anyone, Bo. Inept or not. <laughs> Inept, adept, it's all the same thing. Uh, that piece on the side there. Ah, I'm doing this twice, right. I hadn't caught that little footnote up the top, but we do know now. Um, this goes through. Okay. Then last but not least, that and that. The bags felt daunting when I opened them, but I'm actually not that far. Um, how full am I? 70%. Yeah, I to keep an eye on my fill level or else I'll end up tanking myself. I will, um, I will cut out in just a sec. Need to cut out, or else I'm going to get full. And... Ah, there is a tractor behind me. Innovative design. You've been reading my um business values, business goals. You always got to be ready for me to stop. I am a Lauren to myself, Ben. You should know that by now. Oh, yeah. right. So here's a good question for you. Here is a good guess. How much chaff have we made? By the end of it, we've got another, I don't know, we'll see how long we go for. Kind of in the Lego building mode at the moment, so could carry on building this for a while. Um, but how much? I'm sure it will I'm sure it'll tell us, but I want people in chat to check. I want I want some guesses. How much chaff? Millions. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be millions, grumpy and grey farmer. I can guarantee you that. Alright, uh, where does this go? That one goes... Oh, maybe it is going to be able to fold up. One, two, three, four. And likewise on this end. One, two, three, four. There we go. I wonder if... No, I don't think it is. Right, where's our lines? Look at that. Almost perfect. 1.8 so far. 
2 million simulator YouTuber, 5.7 million from Dazed. Big number. 1.8 so far. Well, all I can say is that one of you is pretty close. Ah, oh, Ben's done it again. We caught him crashing in the last stream and we've caught him crashing in this stream. Two point two million from Mrs. Professor. Three million nine hundred sixty-five thousand two hundred and forty-nine. Very precise bow. Come all the way along the road, don't go into the field. Come along the road and back towards the farm. Ooh. Ooh, this all attaches. <laughs> I, I flicked forward and I just got excited. Um, those both go in and out. Yeah, I'm going to lose some chaff in a second. Minor adjustments. 4.8 million, Bruce. Interesting guesses. I can say, and we'll have a look in just a sec. What are we up to? 88, 89. We're getting there. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's just keep an eye on our fill level. At least we've got space for someone to drive in beside us along here. Here we go. And I can see Tate just arriving. Perfect type. This was a factor of 95% using factor of k. <laughs> there was the certainty of 95% with factor of k equals 0 0.2. But where was k in there? There's no k in your answer. making now it looks like is it one of the snoots on the header or is it the center divider might be the center divider I don't know but and it definitely is because I'd say that piece there is going to be one of the edge snoots it's a pretty clear and obvious piece I haven't seen one like that before shape in the field. Tate's so close to being full. Looks right. yeah this camera that camera that camera is um its colour its colour's terrible. I'm gonna have to um I need to try and colour balance it better because it was the same with the same with the other Lego, the or the non-Lego, the tractor. It didn't look very red on that camera, whereas the other one does. There you go. That's how that's how yellow that piece is. Yeah, it's, it doesn't do it like that, Henson. I've tried that before. Something with the camera itself. So it's, yeah.
it is quite a, it is ridiculous camera balance right yes even if I got like even if even if I get a bit of white paper on it Try and get it to balance out. I don't think it's going to help. I don't know. Let me know. Might have helped. Um, right. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until the end of the stream and see how much chaff we've got rather than looking now. Giving it away. Let's see how close you got though. I remember those guesses. We'll suss them out soon. Uh, oh, this is an interesting. Another interesting looking piece. Ah, it is, it's the center divider. That goes up through there. Oops, I meant to... All right. Here we go. Three of those gears. Went more yellow after I pulled the paper. How's that? Oh, well, maybe that was it. Maybe that did fix it. Okay. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? Good to see you, mate. We are going to be 100% again. Go. Right on. Still haven't built your forage harvester, but at least put us up a second shelf up next to the other large gear tractor. I did finish. Nice rover. Nice. Red gears. Those red gears are pretty cool. Uh, right, that needs to be. Here comes Hanson. I'll get an unload. Just had to get in the right spot. Oops. Ah, I'm paying attention. Easy fit. There we go. Snoot's going next. Tractor's racing everywhere at the moment. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Can't go. Does it go until I put it in the auger or I put it in the trailer? Auger trailer, auger trailer. Guys, oh, he's way over there. Right, cut straight through. Good idea.
Um, pretty much started it. I've pretty much built it tonight. Grumpy Grow Farm. I had done the first seven. Um, I had done the first seven. Whatever instructions, whatever you want to call them. Um, last stream, or well not last stream, but last stream on this server, I think it was. Um, so a few streams ago, and then I just hadn't had the chance to get back into building it, and then thought tonight, seeing I'm going to be driving a 970, this is this is exact same forage harvester. So if you compare what we've already built, and you look at it from the back, that's pretty much what we're doing. It's pretty cool. There's stickers and everything to go on there, which will give us the red and white warning triangles and that on the corner but otherwise um it's kind of what we've been doing so we've got to this point which is not far away from having everything done then i think we've got one more bag which will be building the cab so that's that's five of those more somewhere It's not even lunch. Convaris, it is 10 to 11 on Wednesday evening for me. You've got some catching up to do there, mate. I'm already through the hump day. Even better, I have Friday off work this week too. Like my son's um, doing a triathlon for his school, so I'm going along to help with that, which would be cool. Haven't been to that event before. There we go, look at that. Now, if everything works the way I think it should, this goes forward, and those wheels we put on the back... Ah, no, we haven't connected the gears. <laughs> That's not going to work at all. There we go, well, let's connect the gears. Like that. Now it's all going to work, so there we go of a chopping mechanism it's kind of cool uh, I am a New Zealand grumpy farmer or grumpy grey farmer in the lower North Island um, about an hour and a half drive north of Wellington if you, knew, if you know if you're familiar with where things are in New Zealand I'm like, I was going to say I must be getting close to 100% You ain't been to sleep yet, you've been playing farm some all night. Nice. <laughs> Off to bed, Bo. Cheers, mate. Nice to see you, my friend. Have a good one. Say hello to Floyd from me. I want to have a good day at school tomorrow. And I hope he hasn't eaten all that licorice yet. Am I kidding? Of course he has. He's a kid. Just stay up now. Yeah. I did that. Well, I didn't stay up, but when uh, SpaceX launched their rocket last Thursday night, I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning watching it. It's actually kind of fun. We, um, I was on the Oaks doing some work on there and just ended up chatting to um, Mark and Dazed and Oh, Just chilling the fat for a few hours. It was nice. Nice change of pace. Change of scenery. I saw Farm Sim Briscoe was on earlier today with Days and that while you were doing the potatoes. That would have been interesting. I mean, chat to him. Licorice is gone by the next day. <laughs> Not surprised. We have, um, i got to say, we have flown through this tonight. I'm actually surprised how much of this one we've got done. I know it's a much smaller set than some of the others, but... It is 
captured me. No, it's the Lego. It's always the Lego. The field's, the field's a small bonus, but it's always the Lego. I think we've done a good job on the field too. Guys have been working well together. It's like a sports game. <laughs> it's sort of a, a, I don't know if this is a, a worldwide thing, but it's always thanks to the ladies in the kitchen for the spread. It's always a typical club rugby thing when you're doing a speech. You always have to thank the ladies in the kitchen. I'm sure you don't anymore. But it was, but it was always the same. Uh, G'day Jackson, how you doing? Good to see you. Thompson Briscoe and a few others joined for the first day of Spuds was too tired to do an East stage. She fell asleep. I heard you fell asleep. <laughs> uh, all the YouTubers you watch are always on early hours for you, then I lose track of time and not sleeping up, not sleeping. Not the best thing, grumpy grey farmer. My wife would say, well, you're grumpy when you're tired. Didn't get any more if you didn't thank them, that's it. They wouldn't be there next week. Alright, so these just squeeze in there. So that one, that one. Oh, don't throw it away. Did you notice I was wearing my John D hat specifically for this as well? Brand new hat I got at the field days. Quite cool. Probably fall asleep again this evening, running on five hours of sleep for the week. Oh, I dazed. Cut it out, mate. Yeah, ten kids that keep you. Ten keeps kids would definitely keep you on your toes. That's for sure. Right, I feel like we are incredibly close to having this header done. Look at that more gears on top, just to make sure that corn gets nice and chewed up and spat out the back. Silage season's really kicked into gear here around here. I haven't been drinking my whiskey. I've been signed to this. Cheers, everyone. I mean, so enjoy if I'm, I've got so much whiskey, I might as well keep going. Um, didn't spill it yet, it's true. Done that before. Right, just those, and that's the header done. Or just about done. I think we've got one more bit in piece to do. Isn't it cool that? So those are the, um, these are like the whips. I think they've used before, like for, um, like the Circus Master and things like that. Those little pieces. We're up to 73. I don't think I have said that, have I? Don't have to. Right, and here we go. We've already tested that so we know everything works. Yeah, so I think, there you go. You can see the hoses we've got on top of here, eh? Oh, don't think we're actually zoomed in far enough to hear that sort of sound effect. Normally you sit behind back and hear just the engine sound. they full. Do we get to put it on? We do. Hip, hip, hooray. Right, so that's going to... Goes into there, is it? It is. Which means this one... It's come on the other side. It does. Hmm. 
and then we've got that bit, this last piece here, which must, and it does too, clip down there. Look at that. Ah, and then it does have, it does have a raise and lower function that'll come probably once the wheels are on. When it's got wheels on the front, it does look like we can raise them up. Awesome. Happy days. Oh, this is what the new gen head is used to go to stalks into the chopper and do the old metal bars they used to have. Yeah, you can see that on this one. Kind of cool. Hey, DJ. Evening, mate. Morning. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I am making what I'm driving. I know you've you've got this one, but there we go. Oh no, where's my bro going? Ah, okay, it's the row. Yep, we are making it ninety-seven hundred. That's it. We're done. We're into the last bag. Pretty much made the whole thing tonight on stream. And there's not actually, when you look in there, there's not actually that many pieces left. It's all just the cab. That thing's empty. Oh, DJ. I got a notification today to say my Anywhere Object Storage mod is pending release. So, I will look forward to seeing that in the uh, mod news. I'll, um, in fact, I have made a video which isn't in the, um, isn't going to be on the mod channel, but I will, um, I might send it to you. Because when you do your mod review, you can, um, you could point people to the fact I have got a video showing how to use it. Or suggesting how to use it. Thank you, Mark. The head is cool, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked with that. How um compli well, complicated it is. Did you see you would did you see the plow last week? Did I show you the plow? I don't think I have. I should pick that up and show you. I got the tractor finished and that was pretty cool. Mod releases are a maybe today, so hopefully we see it. Well, it's definitely gone from pending release to... Um, pending release. So it was, it was testing complete yesterday and now it's sitting on pending release. So, fingers crossed. Have they said to you why they're doing... Um, why they're sort of... Spacing them out a little bit more, or is it just to do with their new QA team and that people that are training up? Doesn't seem that long ago you were talking to class, you're still on the same day. <laughs> right, what are we doing here? Two of those. One of those. Ah, they're also working on something. Uh. Cool, cool. We'll wait and see what they have to say then, eh? The new farm's them. If there is a new farm sim, I've been working on that for 18 months, probably grey, grumpy, grey, grey farmer. Right, let's have a look, where does this go? Hope it's this year. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with it. It, it would be cool. Um, would be cool. 
Fingers crossed that the mod hard update would be cool to see you get a lick of fresh paint. Well, you know they're working on something. I mean, they're always working on something though, aren't they? Of course we're working on something. Logging league this weekend as well, everyone. I haven't even plugged that yet. I'm so focused on everything else. But yeah, round two. Um, coming to you from a fresh map. We are tackling Deerlands. Uh, well, we're not. We're commentating on Deerlands, but we are doing Deerlands, which will be exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing how a new map changes how the teams approach it. Not this one. <laughs> no, even... Oh, did I use the right one? Because I've got... Yes, I did. I've got particular rules there and showing which one it should be. I did. Right. Uh, that's, that goes into there. That one goes into... She's not yet stuck in. Your version of working on something 15 different mods at once. <laughs> oh, funny. Apparently some spraying needs to be done. <laughs> Judging by the testing list, it's 160 things. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Uh, where do I go next? Right, is that onto there? Well, we haven't had too much downtime, I've got to say. We managed to keep moving pretty well. For the majority of the time, which has been good. <coughs> That goes through into that one. Yep. Okay. Done. I'll top you off, handsome. Jay Z song got 160 problems. Testing list ain't one. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's get this thing finished. Hey, tell the gamer, I'm doing good, mate. Doing good, thank you. We've had a, as you can see, we have had a very productive stream, and I'm, I'm going over time because I want to get it finished. We're onto the last bag, and I can see the finish line, which is um, frustrating and rewarding all at the same time. Because I do, I just want to get it done. Get it done, 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 done. Oh yeah, sorry dazed, sorry dazed. I'm keeping your workers, I'm keeping your workers for longer because I want to build my Lego, how selfish is that? Next event is this week, and what are you up to this week, is it PAX? It's PAX this week. Gosh, that's coming around a quick, if it is. Must be, is it? Yeah, 
kill survive. Exodus, nice one. They push through. Don't know how far into, but I'm sure that'll balance itself out at some stage. It's late. What you're late? It's six eleven a.m. Uh. Yeah. What am I up to? Too many little pieces. Nice to see my friend. Thank you for stopping in. Always a pleasure. Great to see and have you able to tune in again because of our shift in time. So have a good one, man. I'll um I'll drop you a message later on once I've jumped off. Finished up here. Alright, does that? This means to go and clip back in there. Just can't get the alignment right, here we go. Right, I kind of want to open this field up again, but oh, here comes the trailer, tractor, good. Let's get unloaded into it and get this emptied out. Let's take the whole lot, Hanson. I want to, um, yeah. Go get, go get Scott, yeah. And I'll open this field up. It's a big field. It is a big field, Del. It, it certainly is. We've done all of that and we've been around this a few times and we've still got that big junk up there to do. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Carry on. Keep on chopping. Yeah, tune in next week when we're still going. <laughs> Tune in next week when Hanson's had more than enough of all of this corn and will drive a plough right through the middle of it. In fits of rage. All we've done is a drop in the ocean, it certainly is. Certainly is, and we have to have a look too. Remind me to look and see how much he's um, how much we've we've actually managed to do. Now, where does this? It just sit on top of that. It doesn't. It doesn't actually clip into that one. That matches the other side. That's the main part. It's a good job he's got some help. I know, right? Definitely wouldn't want to be doing this on your own. That's for sure. Hmm. 
And now that bit's going on the side, which should... Yeah, I'll make the end. I'll make the end. Piece of cake. Easy. Ninety-nine. I mean, I'm not quite going to make the end, but that was near enough. I'm sure we won't miss that little bit. Right, just come and follow me, Tate. How long until the 16 record needs come out? I know, right? It, it was suggested. <laughs> Once we had enough chaff, we could just go and pick all the corn instead. It is. It's, it's, I'm very happy with how it's all coming together. Oh, what's that? Hang on. It's not meant to push in like that. I need to look at something there. That didn't feel right. Uh, what have I got wrong? Allow me to push in. Okay. Ah, there we go. One and two. Right, that's better. So this one should squeeze into there. So, and that's going to be our header raise and lower, I'm guessing. Started using GPS mod to see what it's like and now it's one of your favourite mods. Have you tried um, vehicle control add-on? Because that's another really good one if you're just wanting to be able to jump between um, rows really quickly and easily. Time for bed, it's very late. I'll have to watch the end later to see if you get the Lego finished. Have a good rest of the week, everyone. Likewise, Mrs. Professor, always... Always appreciate you uh, staying up as late as you do to catch the streams. You have a good rest of your um, good rest of your day as well. See you again soon. Logging leak on the weekend. They have made it so you can save, haven't they? Just recently. Hmm. I thought there was the last update had something about being able to save because someone mentioned it to Dazed. Because it was his sort of bugbear with it not being able to share or save courses. Never use VCA. So VCA is a good one if you just want to be able to just do a course and press it, press it and go kind of thing. Um, it's very handy for that. You don't have to do the whole A, B line. It'll just create you a Create your path in the direction you're facing. Uh, okay. I'm intrigued to see how this is going to link together. Well, at the same time as the last one, maybe not with you. Probably not with, yeah, probably not with your time to change. Ah, uh, does it just, just, ah, uh, just pushes down and holds it down. Yeah, okay. Um, yes, it should, it'll be, whatever the difference is in my stream, because it'll be, it'll still be the same time, same time for me. It'll be an hour difference for you from last time. But convoluted way of saying it really, isn't it? Alright, seat time. Where do I get the Lego sets from? Um, this one I got from the Lego store in Wellington in New Zealand. Um, so I just, just buy them. I've collected Lego for a very long time. I still have all my sets and actually one I really want to pull out and rebuild on stream is a old Technic Combine from... 19 early 1990s that I still have
But yeah, this is just a this is just a set that just off the shelf. Nothing special. We've got the colours down pat for the uh, John Deere interior colour scheme. Tan on tan. I'm going to have to go through there's a few stickers that it's just calling for in here. I'm going to have to figure out how I do these ones. I'm not sure I'm happy about all these stickers, but... Um, two more of those. Let's go on top. Old steering wheel. Goes in there. Now what we're going to have to do now... Perfect. Perfect size seat for Lego Axie. Um, right. What do we have to do? How full am I? 67%. Oh, Legos, Lego series. You managed to build that whole set on one stream? Yeah, well, I didn't have to turn around. The field was. The field was a mile long. I've just thrown a piece. We went for miles. Hang on. Let's stop. Probably right, Nisma. Probably this might be a time because I'm throwing my Lego around. I'm throwing your toys. I mean, you literally are throwing your toys, aren't you? If you could see how few pieces there are of Lego left. I'm so close that I'm carrying on. Uh, 25 past 11. Grumpy Gary Farmer. Not too late. Not too late. I'm a night owl anyhow. Often up incredibly late recording videos or doing things like that so I'm not too fussed about it uh, look. Yeah. That's it doesn't feel like it sits on there very well but I think it's alright See that one coming. All right. <laughs> the old sneak attack. Scott's probably been enjoying driving around, being able to go at his own pace. Not having to worry about me being slower in front of him. I wish you have to remember to get a screenshot before we finish too. Jump in the gun. fast I'd do this if I wasn't 
streaming and driving a tractor at the same time. And see the finish line. So close. Am I still alright there? We're not going to go over flow. Used, ha used half a tank of fuel in these two and a half hours. You're going to go before you fall asleep. Well, nice chatting to you all and see you on the next one. Awesome grumpy farmer. Nice to have you here, mate. Rest easy and yeah, it'd be good to uh, good to see you again. And that done. What do we got now? We've got actually a few pieces in here, including our beacon. It's on that side, and that must be like the. Meant to be the GPS station, I'm assuming. Then that goes on to there. Alright. Definitely be back again. Awesome. Well, it'd be great to have you back. Alright, let's just concentrate on getting this into the next row. Cab's just about done. Got a few more bits and pieces to do with that. How do these go? That's kind of clever. I can put it down from the top. Makes it nice and easy. So we started off on 7, we're on 167, so we've done 160 instructions. To get to where we are, not bad. Another sticker that needs to go on, except that for? Wing mirror. Same on the other side, wing mirror two. Well I now know I'm not the only one that uses the Orca Master Walker Wagon behind the forage harvester. It's um it's a pretty useful little technique to use outlaw. Very handy. It's um comes in good for this. If you're solo harvesting or even if you're um even working in a big crew, it's actually quite handy. I'll just keep moving, that's for sure. But welcome along, nice to have you company. Thanks for coming in. Uh, what done on that side? Is it three on this side? Okay. It's asymmetrical. Looks symmetrical from the front, but it's asymmetrical in the way it's made. Just wish it held more. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That's worked out alright for us, I complain. Now, while I do these, I'm doing fast. Gosh, we're just about there. I'm going to have to fish out the wheels. They must be in the box still. 
This one is normally one of the first things I'll do when I'm building a Lego set is pull the wheels out and put the tyres on the hubs. But I haven't done that. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. symmetrical on both sides it is oh this is uh this is close three in the back see here's an interesting question why do they not put these three in the back when your fingers can still get in there when we before we even put the top on surely it wouldn't have been that hard to say put three in this end as well i mean I'll probably read the instructions and it's for ages eight plus I'm a little bit older than an eight-year-old, but still makes it pretty hard to get your fingers in there. Now my guess is we're going to be putting... This and this are going to go together and on those pieces. Three, two, one. Just like that. Like I know what Lego's thinking when they do bits. Oi. There we go. Uh, I wonder where that went next. That's... That's pretty cool. It's like a drawbar. Tow bar. I've even actually got a trailer I could hook onto the back of that. One from the other John Deere from the Niner. Those are extras. Those are extras. We're up to the tyres. Hooray. That was a bit close, wasn't it? Get too excited opening everything up and pop it off. Uh, so the Lego bits on the outside and these. I haven't seen tyres like this before actually. It's, um, it's a new tyre design. It's a sort of, whatever you want to call that. There's our rears and then the fronts. We'll try around to the fronts go. It's on the inside. Now they're both the same either way, so it doesn't matter on that one. Right, we're at eighty percent again. Get your fingers in there, grumpy. Uh, two forage harvesters and two auger master auger wagons on the 110 acre cornfield. Running class forage harvesters because that's what you run in real life. Nice. Whereabouts in the world are you, outlaw? 96, 97. We need to stop. We're going to be full, which is perfect because we're going to put our tyres on. Back one, back one, front, and the front one, now do these have a nut that goes on them, sometimes they do, yeah. Let's finish it off. We go that's in we can go again and we're finished it's done look at that 
we can raise and lower it and uh, we can steer it, let's have a look I'm gonna get a, get a screen capture before everyone runs away um, but there you go, that's it finished is that binding up on? not good the rubber's binding up on oh because I haven't pushed that on properly ah oh, there we go, that's better Lift that up. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go big Lego. There you go. So, the steering, forward and back, and then the one on the side. Raise and lower. And then when we drive that forward, the backwards. But those little rubber tires that we've had on the bottom, driving those gears. Very cool. So, let's now try this one as well. There you go. What it all looks like. Lift it up. Pipe up. Up goes around. Steering. It just needs the stickers, and it'll be done. Very cool. We're done, yep, that's us. So we've finished. Um, right, we're just going to grab a screenshot with everyone before they dash off. We can. Ben was just saying he might have to go. So we might miss him, but see what we can do. Uh, do you just want to teleport over here or something? Just jump across, pick on the silage pit. Well, we need to have a look at the silage pit, but now we'll we'll do something here. Yep, just see Ben. Stop! 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 Look! Like looking in a mirror. Let's get these guys get themselves sorted out. Let's come and park up next to the other forage harvester and take you park on the other side next to Ben's tractor. We'll be all good. Right, let's have a look while we're waiting for them. How much have we ended up with? Chaff, 3.1 million litres. So actually, just so Jason, when you said this, when I asked what we had, um, we've got to go a long way back and you said 1.8 million I think the guys were saying to me that that was a pretty good guess so when you when you guessed 1.8 that was pretty close but now um, now we're up to 3.1 so as it works out Bo with his 3.9 is probably almost just almost the closest Mrs Professor 2.2 they're kind of in between are off pretty impressive effort though and uh what, two and a bit hours? Nice and close, Scott. That's it. There's good. You're going to go on the other side, Tate. Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful. Uh, and the pipe moved too. It's Tate got there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Perfect. Right, there we go. We will let Ben go, he's got to go do some work. Thank you gentlemen, pleasure to have your company this evening. You do, yeah, New Holland shirt in front of the New Holland tractor. Hanson's got the John Deere in front of the John Deere. No, but it's perfect. Right, let me them again for a little bit. Um, thank you everyone, pleasure to have you here. We've, Like we said, we've gone about 40 minutes longer than I wanted to, but uh, obviously the main goal was getting this finished. So I'll, um, I'll get the stickers put on, I'll put some photos of it on um, Discord. He's got a little argsy in it. There we go. Perfect, perfect size for a um, Lego Argsy. But yeah, that was fun. Um, blast getting that all done. It's, if you have a look at what we've actually done though, 
it is but a uh i don't know we've done a third maybe i'd say a quarter at least definitely a quarter possibly a third whoa <laughs> oh we caught all of that there you go what a way to finish the stream right everyone i'm gonna tune out uh logging league is <laughs> <laughs> they've always wanted to get me laughing on stream and that's that, that's just about done it <laughs> oh goodness um thank you everyone for tuning in logging league on on the weekend with the some guy looking forward to getting into that and uh keep an eye out for anywhere object storage being released hopefully tonight today on um mod hub so keep an eye out for that one um and if you do, please, please, please rate it. I'd love to get your downloads. I'd love to have it rated and everything like that. Really appreciate you uh, checking it out and letting me know what you think about it. So that's us. We're done. I'm out of here. You guys have a great rest of your Wednesday if you're only just getting into it or uh, have a restful Wednesday evening if you're there, if you're on our side of the world. And uh, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye.